Kristen Stewart makes a casual but cute red carpet appearance with Taylor Lautner. Hey there, I'm Lauren and we're bringing you Kristen and Taylor's Night Out, plus Kristen's three new male co-stars in today's Pop Sugar Rush. The Twilight Saga turned Kristen Stewart and Taylor Lautner into huge stars, and last night they returned some of the love to the series movie studio, Summit Entertainment. Pop Sugar editor Ali Miriam is here to bring you all the details. Kristen Stewart and Taylor Lautner stepped out in LA last night for the LA Film Festival premiere of A Better Life, which was from their New Moon director, Chris Weitz. It's also produced by the studio behind the Twilight series Summit, so it was a great way for Kristen and Taylor to show support for their Twilight buddies. Kristen wore peep toe heels on the red carpet, but once she headed inside, she did her usual switcheroo and changed into sneakers. A Better Life opens in theaters on Friday and tells the story of an L.A. gardener working hard to keep his son out of trouble. But Kristen Stewart will soon be getting to work on her own film, Snow White and the Huntsman. Kristen Stewart, Charlize Theron, and Chris Hemsworth have already signed on for Snow White and the Huntsman, and they just started casting the dwarves as well. Last night it was announced that Toby Jones, Eddie Izzard, and Bob Hoskins had signed on to play dwarves, and Ian McShane will play the head dwarf, which I think is genius casting. While Kristen gets into Snow White mode, her boyfriend Robert Pattinson has been working on Cosmopolis. He's been on a Toronto set since May, and yesterday we had a glimpse of him between scenes wearing a cute button-down shirt. He was apparently working on a rave scene, and I personally can't wait to see Rob showing off his dance moves, maybe even with some glow sticks. Cosmopolis and Snow White and the Huntsman debut next year, which means fans won't have to wait long between Breaking Dawn Parts 1 and 2 to see plenty more of Rob and Kristen.